Cambridge Central Mosque is Europe's first eco-friendly mosque. I've been wanting to visit since I first heard about it during its construction. I like taking care of the environment, trying to do my part where possible. Maybe this is why I was drawn here. The mosque is committed to sustainability. Its advanced eco-design gives it a near-zero carbon footprint, honours natural forms with sustainable timber vaulting and reminds the visitor of our connection to nature. This is great because it means this mosque emits a low level of carbon dioxide. The most popular renewable energy sources are solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, tidal and biomass energy. We'll come to see that CMC utilises renewable energy sources which are perfect for the environment. Everything contained within this world is a gift from the Almighty and it is our responsibility to take care of the world we are living in. Worshippers and visitors enter via an Islamic garden before passing through a covered portico and then an atrium, preparing them gradually for the contemplation of the prayer hall facing Mecca. This combination of gardens with whispering fountains and vaulted prayer spaces has been used to great effect throughout Islamic history. It reminds us of the interconnectedness of humans and the natural world. The gardens enhance the feeling of an oasis that the building as a whole embodies. It truly is a mosque which invites non-Muslims and Muslims and with that welcomes Muslims of all backgrounds, Sunni, Shia or other. It is non-denominational. Women preferences and their privacy are also respected by given choices on where to pray as long as other worshippers present are not disturbed and Islamic guidelines are followed. There is an area known as the Baraka Gallery in honour of a student who had a terminal illness. She raised over half a million pounds and donated it all to the mosque in the last month of her life. The building is naturally lit all year round by large skylights in the roof supplemented by low energy LED bulbs while photovoltaic cells on the roof help generate renewable energy from sunlight. As well as being very well insulated and naturally ventilated, the mosque is heated and cooled by locally generated energy by way of highly efficient heat pumps in the basement that produce far more energy than they consume. This type of heat pump extracts energy from the relatively stable temperature of the air or groundwater, heating the building as needed and cooling it at times of high occupancy or excess heat gain. This place of worship also reuses water. Grey water and rainwater are harvested to flush toilets and irrigate the grounds. The gardens and cafes make it a welcoming space for anyone visiting. It is said the contemplative green spaces of the new mosque offer worshippers and passers-by respite from the hectic pace of the city and bring together traditional Islamic and British features. The gardens were designed by specialist Islamic garden designer Emma Clark in association with Urquhart and Hunt Landscape Design Studio. Described as a calm oasis within a grove of trees, I find what the website mentions very true on how the garden struck a harmonious balance between Islamic structure and relaxed English herbaceous and naturalistic planting. A concern for sustainability, biodiversity and insect-friendly planting has been a constant theme in the selection of plants. Other than the cafe open to the general public, there are a number of services and events also held by the CMC offering funeral prayers, guided tours, resources, opportunities to volunteer, kids' corner, sermons, exhibitions, serves as a venue to hold events and much more. They are also relatively fast with the response to replies via email, mashallah. UK has excellent public transportation, so it was quite easy to visit the mosque. Green transport was taken into consideration in the design. It's easily accessible by pedestrians. Cambridge Rail Station is around a 15 to 80 minute walk away. The city two bus stops are right outside the mosque. There is also free parking for bikes and cars underground. Information on the mosque was taken from the website. I'm grateful that I have been finally been able to visit this wonderful place of worship. Places of worship fascinate me as they always hold a story. For more information, check out the links in the description below.